Hey all here, OS Reviews. In a previous video, we've done a review on the Vocal Skull Bone Conduction Glasses, the 2018 model. And in that video, I mentioned how these were an upgrade in terms of sound and loudness compared to past iterations and other generic variants that you'll find. So in this video, we're just doing a teardown analysis just to see really what's inside in terms of uh, the vibrators, kind of the chip, as well as comparing that with their first generation to see if it's actually louder or not. Now, inside of the previous generation glasses, we do have the same accessories, but the charging cable is missing the imprinted Vocal Skull logo like we saw in the review video. So there are some slight differences to tell these glasses apart. Furthermore, the glasses themselves have a different texture, and we can tell that these are slightly bulkier, and they also have a matte black finish compared to the glossy black on the newer frames, which you can see there is slightly shinier and uh, slightly more attractive as well. There aren't any logos or accents on the old glasses either. In terms of the ports, they are placed on the same arm and they all have the flaps with the micro USB volume controls and power, so this part isn't too terribly different. So before we tear these down, let's just do a very quick test of how loud they get. I'm going to play a track that's called buzzing as kind of a bass line. That's what it sounds like, you can kind of hear it because it's vibrating on the table, but we lift it up from the surface and also tap on it the sound is a lot softer. So the sound is definitely amplified when you put it onto a hard surface. And I have a decibel meter app on this phone and we're gonna see how loud it gets. So right now it seems like about 70 decibels. Now let's try it with the old glasses which have this matte frame and we're gonna connect to the uh, SOGGL01 is the name. And now let's try out the same test. Same track being played back, and we are at maximum volume here on our device. Going into the sound recording test, we can see that the average decibel is about 54. So it does seem like the new glasses for sure do get louder. All right, so now let's do a teardown and just compare exactly what is going on underneath. And now we can see it. This is the vibration coil that uh, makes the bone conduction sound possible. So we're just going to pause here and uh, now take a closer look at the other previous generation glasses and see what the design of its vibration coil looks like. All right, so onto the generic previous generation glasses. We're going to do the same thing. The location of the diaphragm, the vibration unit, is actually in the same place. So we need to remove this rubber cover first. And on this one, it seems the vibration coils are more tied onto this rubber compartment, but we're just going to try and hold it into place while continuing to remove this rubber seal. So you can tell that the shape is very different. It's this rectangle compared to the oval. And here they are next to each other. Again, we have the newest generation one, which is in this oval shape compared to the previous generation one, which has, again, this rectangular shape. So again, that difference in design, difference in physics uh, definitely will affect the sound. So the technical difference is that the new version vibrator applies a moving coil unit design, whereas the previous generation, the square, has a moving iron unit. So here's a diagram I found which explains the difference. The moving iron driver, also known as the balanced armature, consists of a U-shaped iron plate with one side placed on a magnet and the other side a wound coil. When there is electric current that goes through the coil, it magnetizes the armature one way or the other. So the driving rod connected to it also moves up and down, causing the part to vibrate when you are wearing it on your face, and you can thus hear the sound. The moving coil driver, more commonly referred to as a dynamic driver, consists of a circular magnet and a light coil of wire. When the varying current of audio signals pass through this coil, it creates a varying magnetic field that reacts against the magnet, exerting a varying force on the coil, and thus the coil vibrates together with the structure part to send sound into your skull when you are wearing it on your face. And here's a manufacturer's spec chart, and the takeaway is the comparison between the rectangle moving iron vibrator and the oval moving coil vibrator. You can see the difference there in terms of frequency and distortion and sensitivity. More specifically, the vibrator's power consumption has been reduced on the oval one, maximum current has also improved, so output efficiency is enhanced, resulting in better sensitivity, wider frequency, and louder sound volume overall.
So now let's compare kind of the low versus high frequency sounds which can be produced by these two different types of coils. Let's start with the older one this time, and the reason why I have this uh, container is because the coil itself, again, if it's not touching anything such as your bone, your face, it doesn't make any sound. So we have to put it onto a surface like this to kind of amplify it and to be able to hear it. So for instance, if I tap on play on this low frequency sound sample, And now moving over to the new glasses, again with this round coil, let's try and hear the difference. So what's interesting is that the coil itself seems to be actually vibrating not as vigorously on this container here, but still it produces more sound. And the sound is also richer, it's more natural, it's not quite as tinny and thin as you heard before. The drum beats almost sounded like shrieks in the previous track, but on here they actually sound deep. Now let's do the same thing, except we are going to try and compare high frequency sounds, so trebles. We've compared the low frequency or kind of the bass response, and now we're going to go to the opposite side of the spectrum and see if there's a difference in the quality. And I'm also going to try it on a plastic water bottle to see if there's a difference in the sound as well, compared to the container there. Now over to the new glasses. All right, so summarizing what we found, again, the New generation oval moving coil vibrator definitely has progress in terms of the music quality, both with the high frequency and the low frequency sounds. It definitely sounds cleaner, it doesn't sound quite as distorted, the sound is also richer uh, compared to the first gen significantly. I will point out that Vocal Skull isn't the only manufacturer of bone conduction sunglasses on the market. Some which have gotten kind of poor reviews, others which have fared a lot better. And the reason is because even though they are called the same thing and they may look very similar on the outside, as we've seen in this video, the internals, kind of the physics, the shape of the coil plays a big difference in terms of the actual sound quality. Again, I would say that uh, the Vocal Skull Alien 5 are one of the better bone conduction headphones that you can find on the market if you do want something like this a very interesting wearable uh, in general, and very cool tech. Of course, again, this technology will only get better and better in the future, and we can't wait to see what it brings next in terms of wearables. So you can check out more details about the Vocal Skull Alien 5 again in the links down below. You can also check out our original review on this channel that was posted recently. But for now, that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews.